A moment of silence was held in honor of Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. O'Connor died at the age of 93 Friday. O'Connor's nomination in 1981 by President Ronald Reagan and subsequent confirmation by the Senate ended 191 years of male exclusivity on the High Court. She was an unwavering voice of moderate conservatism on the court. She retired in 2006 and was replaced by Samuel Alito. Chief Justice John Roberts says she blazed a historic trail as the first female justice and met that challenge with undaunted determination, indisputable ability, and engaging candor. The court says O'Connor died in Phoenix on Friday of complications related to advanced dementia and a respiratory illness. At the age of 93, Justice O'Connor spent her life breaking down barriers in pursuit of a more just society. She blazed every trail she set foot on, defying the odds stacked against women in the legal profession to rise to become Arizona's Assistant Attorney General, our first female majority leader in the state Senate, a Maricopa County Superior Court judge, and ultimately the first female justice on the United States Supreme Court. She brought her Arizona brand of pragmatism and independence with her to the Supreme Court and was often the sweet swing vote on deeply consequential decisions. In the years since her retirement from the Supreme Court, I've admired her steadfast commitment to preserving our democracy through objective, fact-based, and collaborative civil discourse. Through her creation of the Sandra Day O'Connor Institute, and of course through the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law at Arizona State University. Her work will inspire future generations to follow her example to become engaged and thoughtful civil participants. With that, I ask the House to join me in a moment of silence. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.